So this afternoon, it's my 27th favourite or best rock music record of 2023. Now it's by a band who are completely new to me and the record I'm talking about only came out last month. So it's all very new, but I'm loving it. And that is, the band are called Def Chant, and the record is called Fronds. And as I say, it was released in October. Now these guys come from America, Los Angeles. As I say, they're new to me. So what do Def Chant sound like, you might be asking? Well, they sound like a mixture of quite a few different bands. It's essentially classic rock themed with a little bit of Fin Lizzy, Motorhead mixed. So it's Twin Guitar Attack on this one. Um, and if you can imagine a bit of Black Sabbath thrown in for good measure, that is essentially Def Chant. It's what we do. Now this record, I've heard all, they've got three, three full LPs. This one, to my ear, sounds to, to be their most, their, how can you say it, their most, well to quote the actual guitar, the vocalist and guitar player, their most realised, their most interesting, their most progressive. Um, it's quite a dark record with lots of dark themes going on like brutal honesty, self-realisation, maturity, um, coming to terms with all sorts of maybe inadequacies in yourself and things like that. So it's, it's quite a heavy record, um, lyrically, but I would not say that it should put you off in any way because musically, it's great. Uh, the songs are fast and catchy. Um, occasionally, what they'll do is they'll start off at quite a pace, quite a thunderous pace, and then they'll slow it all down and it'll become a bit sludgy. Imagine that. And then they'll speed up again. So they're quite interesting in that respect. So who's in the band? Well, I'll tell you who's in the band. You've got... Um, let's have a look. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, so he's called TJ Lamour, or Lamour, it's a French name, and he's the vocalist and guitarist and seems to be the main spokesman for the band. You've got on bass George Camacho, the other guitarist Doug Stuckey, and drummer Joe Herzog. I thought I said Hergoz. No, Herzog. I know, I'm butchering these names, but what can you do? Now, what do we have on here? There's eight songs, as I say, I described them. Quite speedy, I slow down in a little bit in the middle, and then speed up again. So you start with Canyon, then you've got a song called Thrones, which is obviously the title track. Then you've got a song called Mirror, which TJ Lamore describes as <coughs> Almost like the second title track, because to him this is the most important one lyrically, because that encourages you to encourages encourages you encourages you to look at yourself in a really deep, understanding way and examine your ideas, your principles, and essentially everything about you. Strip yourself down and see if you're happy with what you see, and if not, do something about it. Then you have Mother Mary, which is quite chilled, quite a chilled piece. Dreamy sort of psych kind of song. Then you have Chariot and Hoax. One of my favourite songs on the record is a song called Earth, which does, it's only short, but it does remind me of Sabbath. Immediately as soon as you hear it, you think Sabbath. 70s Sabbath, obviously. And then it finishes on a, a long number called Tomb. So they're not afraid to tackle long songs and short ones as well and I think they all I think they all work equally well with this band. Um, 
you could sort of compare them a little bit to some of the bands, some of the British bands from the Nawabam period, New Wave of British Heavy Metal. Uh, you could actually compare them to uh, some of those bands like Raven and bands like that. Um, so yeah, it's a good sound. If you haven't heard Def Chant, and again, I would not be surprised if you hadn't, because up until the last three or four weeks ago, I hadn't. But I've enjoyed it so much that I've had to put it at 27 in this countdown to number one for December. So I'd, I'd have a listen. If you like your Finn Lizzy, you like Motorhead, bit of Sabbath, um, and you just like that whole early, early period of British rock music, British heavy rock music in the 1980s. All those sorts of bands. Maiden, Raven, um, oof, possibly a little bit of Budgie, a bit of Demon going on, possibly. Uh, but yeah, those, those types of bands. Then I think you will enjoy the music of I was gonna, I was gonna say Raven, Def Chant. I think you'll enjoy, enjoy the record, Thrones. Um, again, it's very loud. It's a very loud record, uh, very loud CD. Um, I would, um, if I were you, try and get the vinyl. It is available. Some lovely colours. But yeah, it'd be a, a more embracing experience for everybody because this thing is just. <laughs> Really loud, so either that or just turn it down. Um, it, it's the problem with uh, modern CDs, though, isn't it? They just um, master them purely for volume, and it, it does take something away. But like I say, try and get all the vinyl. It's well worth it because this is a good record, and as a third record goes from any band, especially a young band like this, then it's a tremendous effort. So that is Def Chant, Franz, my number 27 of my countdown for best rock records of 2023.